been out there probably, God, at least an hour. I am turning into a freaking mermaid. Um, I'm getting in at this end. It's more difficult to, oops, as I trip on a few stones, excuse me. <laughs> Um, it's easier to get in on that side because there's less um, rocks in your way but as the summer wears on I get to know these stones and again they're covered in beautiful seaweed which I'm about to show you because um, two days in a row now I've had a very spiritual experience out there after leaving the um, stone for Hayden and um, yesterday I was out there trying to heal myself and, and, and that's kind of a funny story so I won't tell you now I'll tell you later. But um, I was out there with Eli and um, I was holding on to the side of her like I always do. You know, she's got this beautiful seaweed. And um, it, um, some of it just fell off in my hand because I would never pluck it from her. Um, I just wouldn't, I don't know, because I, I, I didn't feel right doing that. And so it was like a gift like she was sitting giving me a gift of healing and so um and she asked me to take more and i did i want to send some to you um and it's um it's drawing out my bathroom so um it can be reconstituted um i'm not sure what to do with it yet i may i'm gonna use it probably in my bathtub I'm not sure what you want to do with it. It'll probably end up, you know, it may, um, it does have a, a smell to it. Not a bad smell. I, I love it. Um, but not everybody's crazy about the smell of seaweed. Um, but it's no worries. You just reconstitute it and you can dry it out in the sun or, you know, decide what, whatever. But um, I thought it was important that you had some of that um, coming straight from Alice. Um, it was a gift for you and Hayden. Okay, so today, what did it, what happened today? I went out there, 212. Um, I went out there, and um, this time I was wondering about, it's it's calm, and I, you know, I was out there playing a long time. Let's see, let me walk over here. Um, yesterday, I did dust her stone. She comes up beautifully when I play with her colors. I was on her meditating. I will, I'll get on her afterwards. Um, okay, so. There we go. I was over there playing on um, Seal Rock and uh, there goes the Colmont. That is always very spiritual. Um, just having a blast with the waves and playing around just like a seal, doing flips. You know, even, um, you know, swimming back and forth. Um, you know, what I call water hiking because um, it's up probably to either your waist or. Um, you know your hips or it can come it depends on this is probably about medium tide when it's low tide you know it's harder to get out but um at any rate i'm not going to go on you've heard that all about that um so today i was on a different stone the one in front of her and um her name is um i think it's ella i or is that Ella? Now that I'm out there, <laughs> I am, I'm forgetting their names. When I'm up there, I, it's an L something, but it's not Eli. It wasn't Eli. Eli is uh, me and E, you know, or Enu, whatever. Um, you know, we, we've been building a relationship, and um, I found, like, I was throwing stones yesterday, and I found a big, beautiful triangle stone, and I threw it out. The, um, the birds you see, if you can see them flying by, are the ferns. Um, very protected in this area. So, um, beautiful, beautiful um, piece of Gaia. Okay, back to the story, but I was laying on her and just letting the water, you know, float over me. And um, and she told me to take some of her, um, her kelp as well. Now, it's a different kind of kelp. It is the bright yellow. There's two kinds, and I'm gonna send you both. So um, I'm gonna take you over here now to my little get my, my little setup. Um, the bigger rocks are down here. Um, when you go down there, you see the smaller rocks as I stumble. It, it's a little, it can be challenging. This is why there's the beach is all to me. Okay. Oh, oh, and then I forgot the best part. Okay. So here's the seaweed. I don't know if you can tell it, it is it's kind of brownish yellows 
um, very different. The one you, um, that I brought home yesterday is fatter. So, um, but this, this is um, for Hayden, okay? Now, um, it looks like, to me, it, it looks like it's got a cool little face on it. Can you see it? Um, I don't know, it's covered in, um, uh, you know, moss. It's been out there for a while. And I hadn't planned on picking a stone up, but I was out there, of course, with my guides, and I was out there um, with Alice and, um, and E. And um, I was diving, um, just playing around, and I've never done that, but I was wondering, well, actually, no, I wasn't diving yet. I was thinking, I wonder if I can find that stone down here, you know? And I, tr I completely trust her and the waves to be able to dive down deep, and so I, I did that. I, I went down there, and um, I think I felt it, but then I was told to pick a different stone. And um, so I grabbed one, and I realized, and it fell out of my hands, and um, so I came back up, and I was like, yeah, it's definitely possible there's stones down there. And I went and grabbed this guy, okay? And, um, and um, I was like, well, that's, I bet there, there's quartz down here. Maybe there's one that I might like better. I mean, you know, of course, I wasn't saying that or thinking that, but that was kind of in my subconscious because I held on to that one. I'm like, does Hayden really want this one or is there another one down here? And I tried five or six times and there are a ton of stones down there. And every time that I picked one up um, or tried to, I, I couldn't. It was either stuck, uh, it slipped out of my hands, and, and they made it clear, you know, you got the right one. You know, it's just stay out of, stay out of it. <laughs> that, that's when I know that I'm like, okay, I got the picture. This is the one Hayden wants. This is the one that, um, that is a gift um, from Alice. So from Alice comes Alice and Ella. Um, the, the stone that I, the, that I like to lay in front of her. I'm dying to get you out here. You are coming out here. We are manifesting that, by the way. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm now, of course, 17 minutes in, and it feels like three to me. So I hope you're having a fantastic weekend, but I thought it was important um, just to capture this moment. All right? I love you. I love Hayden. I'm, I'm sending you guys all the love and energy out here, and... Um, of course, from Alice and uh, Seal Rock, and um, she's got a name too, and I can't remember it. I was out there, and they were all telling me their names. All I'd have to do was go up, and oh, there was the waterfall. I would just love it. It's so much fun out here. Um, you could actually have go out there and have a picnic on that rock. Let's see. Now, okay, I, I promise I'm about to end this. <laughs> But see, there's, there's, there are places out there that you could go if you had like, you know, a waterproof backpack. You can even water hike out there. And I mean, Jesus, look, do you see anybody on this place? I mean, what, what are the odds? I was out there and I was like, what? This is manifestation. I mean, how much would you pay to have a private beat like, like this? How, how much would you pay? I mean, I drive an hour each way, but it doesn't even matter. Like, I will, I drove an hour yesterday to get here, just to be here an hour, because I had to get in the water, and I had to go talk to Alice, and, I, and, and then um, we, we, I manifested a new car. That's a new story, but no. anyway, okay, I'm going on. <laughs> I'm so excited. Things are happening, and um, it's just a blessing to see this, so. Um, from everything out here, I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.